Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. What's going on? We're here, live. I'm like a DJ. We're here, live. From Liverpool. Got my deodorant. Got my beer. How's everyone doing? You alright? You good? How you feeling? Locked out, lockdown. Lockdown's on. So, does everyone like this song, by the way? It's probably one of the best. Um, so I'm here for all your questions. I've been sent, um, I've been sent your questions. I've not read them yet. So I think it'll be, I think that's more fun if I don't, I don't pre-read them. Um, but oh yeah, before we start, does everyone like the, uh, the EP, Box Room, Sadder, Happier, you dig in it. All demos that we didn't use. Good demos though. Sad Happy's the best song. <clears throat> Sad Happy to her best song. So good, says Alexa. Amazing, says Jessica. Hi, Kieran from Sarah in Bingley. Bingley. I love it, said Love X again. Hi from Brazil. You've blessed up. <laughs> okay. I love gun in my hand. Nice one. Love it. Three black hearts from Mo. Digging it for sure. We love you, said Brazil. Um, how are Joe and Sam doing? And Colin. Oh, all very good, I think. Um, all right. I'm going to open up the email from my manager with questions on. Questions coming in. Right. Do you have a favourite venue? Um, I'm going to say Barrowlands in Glasgow. Probably it was, it was the Casimir in Liverpool, but uh, the council decided to build flats instead, so... Thanks, Liverpool Council. Um, first question, that was from Dom Watts, by the way. Dom Watts. Um, second question from at Kuwith Beeface. Hmm. What have you been doing to keep sane during these crazy times? Do you have any things you'd really like to do as a band when things have calmed down? Any? God, this is a lot of questions. What have I been doing to keep sane? Um, I run in the morning and then I record all day and play with my son uh, who's seven months so he's you know quite he's a lot of fun handful um, but yeah it's a good good day generally do you have any any things you'd really like to do as a band after things have calmed down I just want to play the tour man I just want to play the fucking tour that we booked um, I want to play this record I want to play this record live to you more than anything. From at Bloodline Blake, which toe is your favourite? <laughs> Phew, gotta be the big toe, innit? It's a powerful toe. Um, although I play, used to play a lot of footy, and used to, like, when you knock your big toe and it goes black and then the toenail falls off. Has that ever happened to anyone on this? It's horrible. <clears throat> Just FYI. From at Harry Broiler. Bro, no, Brolia. How do you record drums at home or on albums? Do you use natural kit or plugins? Um, combination of both, Harry. I use Logic. This is really geeky. Everyone's going to start leaving. I use Logic. Logic's drums. Logic X has got its own drum kit, so I use that a bit. And then I use loads of samples. 707 samples, uh, bit, just bits and bobs. 
um, and then when we did the actual album we got Colin to record all those demo drums but then we still used like samples on top of the real drums to make them big and cool like if you listen to go to San Francisco move to San Francisco it's a real drum kit but then we've got like big hip-hop samples in in and amongst them next question from Alex Hind 03 what's happening with the Sheffield gig I assume we're sorting out and we're going to play Sheffield again uh, you just have to hold on story behind sugar side or anti-social anxiety can't remember wrote them like a little while quite a while ago well sugar side sugar side and now i'm gonna leave that one to your imagination i don't want to tell you will we get any covers of other covers in the near future <laughs> any covers or other covers got you yes well, there is a cover in the works it'll be coming to you in a couple of weeks uh, I'm just going to read some of these for a second. Good day, mate. Are there any rappers that you're listening to at the moment? Uh, Loyal Karna. I listen to him quite a bit, actually. I love Columbia, Columbia. Last gig you personally went to. Don't go to many gigs. Honestly, it's like a bus from Zaldi, isn't it? Last gig I went to. God, that's terrible. I can't remember. I went to see Falls with me brother a little while ago. Best places in Liverpool. Um, there's loads to do in Liverpool. Go Seal Street, go some bars. Play Netherlands. Small gigs are allowed again here. Hee <laughs> hee. Um, I'm not travelling anywhere for a minute. Sorry. Um, alright, I'm gonna carry on. Can anyone else hear like the 90s bangers in the background? Alright, from Caitlin Brown. What's your favourite song you've ever written? Um, I like different ones for different reasons. I think... Move to San Francisco. Is it go to San Francisco or move to San I can't remember. See, we need to play live, obviously. Um, San Francisco. I just like it a lot. I think it's got the hooks. It's got the lyricism. It's got the vibes. Store. What colour is your toothbrush? Blue. What's your favourite song to play live? Depends on the scenario. But... Movies, maybe? Usually t-shirt weather, to be honest, because it just goes off, doesn't it? Um, from Ella Mordecai. Ella Mordecai, blue or red? Blue. Alex, hey, hi, Cal. Would you ever get a TikTok? I do have a TikTok. I have a TikTok, but I don't know how to use it. Um, TikTok. I've done like three videos and they're all rubbish. I really don't get it. But, I mean, you know. It's a... It's a, it's a weird app. But I've spent like many minutes on it. How did you form the band? Uh, Zane Lowe played Young Chase's The Demo. Um, Days go by. Um, young, uh, Zane Lowe played... Young Chase is the demo, twice in his show, uh, and then I got 50 phone calls from record labels, and I was like, I better start a band. So the company I worked for at the time was a publishing company, and the lab behind me knew a bass player, a drummer, and then I met Joe separately, but it all came together very quick, because it had to, we had to start gigging. How great will the summer 2021 be? Am I right? Look out gonna be very good um, can I please come on tour as your massage therapist I'm registered <laughs> don't believe you sir uh, love from Japan love Japan what do you think about Hayley Williams new album uh, 
the songs I've heard, I love. Uh, Sam's girlfriend, uh, Steph, did a lot of the production on that. She's incredible. Steph Marziano, check her out. Um, why is T-Shirt Weather not available on Apple Music? Is it not? Really? That's a, I don't, is that true? <laughs> Would you be my guitar teacher? Yes. Favourite band growing up? Foo Fighters. Got a love talking heads, I do love talking heads. Who in the band can down a pint the quickest? Probably Colin. Probably Colin. But I like beer the most. Greetings from Mexico. Hello, Mexico. What music genre do you consider yourself? Uh, acid jazz. Hi, Germany. I miss Germany. Have you already planned the set list for the up and coming tour? Yeah, we did. It was all ready to go. Planned out to perfection. Um, it might change now because we've got these EP songs. So maybe we'll... Do you think we should like open the set with one of them? Maybe gun in my hand to open the set? Jazz. I'm joking. Don't worry. It's not jazz. Will you... You will come to Poland? Yes, hopefully. I mean, we did have Poland planned. And then coronavirus ruined that. So we'll see if we get to do it again. Right, I'm going to go back to the questions I've got on here. Lewis Bernard. How do you get the ideas for the aesthetics and design for your albums? Um, ooh, oh, this is like a playlist that I accidentally put on YouTube. This song is amazing. Everyone, you should listen to this tune. It's called Surf Curse by Disco, or is it Disco Surf? Check it out, Surf, Surf Curse, Disco, amazing tune. Anyway, back to that question. How do we decide aesthetics? Well, generally we just listen to the music and then once the, um, there's like a, usually a general vibe from like a collection of songs of, of what like the colour feels like, do you know what I mean? Like Young Chasers felt very like sky blue and then different creatures felt pretty like heavy and dark. So like red felt a bit sort of horror-ish and then what colour were the other ones? You know what I mean? Like just kind of basing it off the songs. Um, and usually, I mean, most bands will have like people helping them, like record label, people who can sort of be like hey this design is amazing and then you get to work with all these great designers and photographers and it's a it's very like you feel very lucky when you're in a band and get to work with loads of loads of really cool people um from at ethan the music nerd what's the hardest riff of yours to learn for beginners <laughs> The hardest riff to learn for beginners. What does that mean? It's not the it's not the easiest riff. It's the hardest riff for beginners. Aren't they all gonna be hard for a beginner? I don't get that question. T shirt weather is easy, but if you're a beginner, it might not be. T-shirt weather? Does that answer your question? Um, very, very confusing that. Um, at Ash has 89. How did you get into songwriting slash performing? Um, well, I, um, how do I? Um, I just like, I just like playing guitar. I just, you know, and then, um, a lot of my friends started playing guitar as well. Some friends played drums, some friends played bass, and then we all decided to start playing in a room or a garage or whatever. And then um, that's how you just, that's just how you, just, how you start really. <laughs> that's how you should start really, just playing with your mates, um, just having a laugh. It's kind of still what it, what it is, just playing music with your mates, having a laugh. Um, and then I went to college when I was 
16 instead of um, instead of going to university because I wasn't clever enough. Um, and I did music in college and that was amazing. Liverpool Community College. Represent. It was sick. Loved it. I started saying sick a lot because I'm down with the kids. Um, and songwriting, I just, as soon as I learned, started playing guitar, I wanted to write songs on guitar. That's just like, I guess what, it's either in you or it isn't wanting to write music, I think. Um, a lot of my mates were just happy like learning Led Zeppelin riffs, whereas I wanted to make my own riffs. Which is like, you know, either way is fine. I just got into, I just wanted to make my own stuff. And I also couldn't play Led Zeppelin because I wasn't good enough. From at Ben DMCN, will we ever see any of these songs live? Maybe. At the real Pascram, band name inspiration. No, well, come on. That's such a first album interview question. At Marciochs, M A R C W I I O C H S. Will you come to Poland? Us, maybe that's the same person who's on here. Um, hopefully, yes, we do want to. Um, I'd love to, yeah, I'd love to. At as.n19, are you working on an album five in lockdown? Well, yeah, I'm just working on music generally. Um, but I've written a lot of Circus music um, and a lot of other stuff. A lot of pop. At Warabi 120 mo Mochi, how do you release your stress in general? Fucking hell, I look tired, man. I am tired. Children are tiring. How do I release stress? Hmm. Um. How do I release stress? Just go for a jog. I do like jogging a lot. If you live in Liverpool, um, you might see me on a a twenty to half an hour jog. Um, I'm pretty good at jogging. One of the best people have said. All right, last question from the um, I guess the pre question questions. Why did you stop releasing seven inches for all your singles? You release almost every song from Young Chasers. And they were beautiful. Good point. I can't remember. Can't remember. Um, I, on I honestly don't know why we stopped. I think it's a lot of effort doing seven inch singles for, the, for like the label really. Obviously we just go, can we do a seven inch? And then the label go, yeah. And maybe we just didn't push enough on the second record. I told... Uh, you become a little bit like, on the second record, you're a bit too, you know, you're like, yeah, whatever, man, we're the, you know, we're the bee's knees. I don't have to put any efforts in. So the second record, I don't think I pushed enough. So that's all the questions I've got on this email. When I move the email around, it lights me differently. Um, all right, I'll answer a few of the these questions, and then I'm going to go and make me tea, because... I mean, normal human. Did somebody won your guitar already? Yes. To the top, please. Um, are we not doing Birmingham? Maybe. We'll see. Any funny story with a fan? Uh, once we were... Oh, no, I can't say that. Someone basically just didn't leave us alone in an airport for like three hours. Um, did I miss the Glaston question? I didn't, I didn't understand. Are you, released this, are you releasing another album next year or are you going to take some time? I don't know yet. It's a good question, but I'm just going to write music and see what happens. Can you wish me luck finishing my dissertation? Good luck, Iced Peach. You can do it. Everton or Liverpool, mate. Everton, come on. Can I please come on tour as your massage therapist? <laughs> Stop asking that question, but yes. What was your feeling when T-shirt with her went to hit? What well, I didn't, you know what, when I think back to T-shirt with her and like it coming out, I'd, 
it was very gradual. I don't really remember. Like, it, there was no, like, immediate thing where I was like, it's a hit. Not that it is a hit, but you know what I mean? So, it was good. But I don't, it didn't feel like it was a hit, really. How many songs do you write a day? Depends. I write a lot of ideas. I don't finish full songs, but I can do four or five ideas a day. Favourite band at the moment? Have you heard of Niall Horan? Just kidding. I do like Niall Horan, actually. What am I listening to? Um, I like Wallows quite a lot. Um, Wallows. I love The Weeknd. It's not a band, but fuck it, I love The Weeknd. What's your favourite beer? Um, I don't know. Maybe Estrella. Liverpool, yes or yes. Yeah, lad. Everton against Tories. <laughs> yeah. Probably. I mean, like, I don't know any Scouse Roos at all. What's your favourite tea brand? Probably Yorkshire. I can't think of a good question, so hi. Hi, Sir K. Sir K. K. Do you have any animals? Yeah, I've got a cat called Lily. Come on, keep up. I don't know, I don't think they are, ans I don't, I don't know, think they answering questions. What you have in feed tea? Pasta, I believe. Love Wallows too, yeah, nice. So I'm just going to sweep past these and go to the later. Jesus. Thoughts on Scottish football? Don't watch it, but I don't, I'm sure it's fine. Favourite Turquoise song? San Francisco currently. Do you like onions? I love onions. Where would we be without onions? If we paid you, would you play in my garden? Yeah, 30 grand. You miss Mexico? I do miss Mexico. I love Mexico. Absolutely awesome. Do you record everything yourself on Saturday? Yes, I did, yeah. Are all the supports secured for tour? I'm afraid so. Thoughts on 1975? I like them a lot. Um, I've not listened to the record yet. Opinions on Scouse Indie Bastards. Someone mentioned this to me in a gig, but um, I don't really understand what it is. I'm sure it's, I'm sure it's fine. Favourite guitar, Mike Ibsen, which is behind me. Best venue you played at? A baseball stadium in Japan. Kieran, please release more early Circles vinyl. No. Would you cry if your Gibson got stolen? What a weird question. Why would you say that? Opinions on Leeds. The festival or the city. I like, I mean, the festival lineup looks, people complain so much about these lineups. I'm like, I'm looking at it like the biggest acts in the world and there's loads of alternative and there's loads of pop and loads of, I don't get it. People just like fucking complaining. Um, do you want to dye your hair again? Yeah, I do. Might dye it blonde again. But do a better job this time. What's your life goal? Probably to be a good... A good songwriter and father. How many guitars do I have? Ten, maybe? Not a crazy amount. Do you record all the songs through plugins? I mean, some... Yes, all all this latest EP is all drum plugins, and then the album, the main album is like a mixture of both. Would you like to play Transmit again? I'd love to play Transmit. It's definitely up there with the best one of the best festivals. Like thoughts on the Libertines? I love the Libertines. We toured with them, and um, very sweet. And those two, two records just fucking ridiculous. Um, what's your songwriting process generally? Just like a... oh, and then you think of a lyric and you're like, there you go, start of a verse. And 
and so on and so forth. That's a song, you can have that. That's a freezy. What's your favourite thing to do on a Sunday afternoon, pre-Covid? Same thing I do during Covid, just sit on my couch and watch um, shit films. Um, I'm going to, um, what time is it? Half six. I'm going to I'm gonna have to go soon. Are you planning to record more music videos? Maybe. About what is hope there's a heaven. I'm not emotionally, uh, I don't really want to talk about that. <laughs> is there any way to get a signed copy of Young Chasers? Um, or maybe at like a gig, before a gig. Favourite Stroke song, uh, Someday. You should dye your hair purple, lol. Well, <laughs> that would be funny. Peaky Blinders, yes or no? I watched like two seasons and then I just kind of drifted off from it. I enjoyed it though. Favourite so song off the sad side, Wake Up Call. Are you friends with Julie Casablancas? <laughs> no. Yes. Uh, will you do the remaining album release shows after? I don't know. Maybe. Best pub in Liverpool? At the mo like the Dovey, probably. Do you like Johnny Pierce from the drums? Is that the band, the drums? Is he in the drums? I like the drums, if that's what you're asking. Uh, what's your favourite movie genre? Um, meandering... What music video was the most fun to shoot? Um, Jacqueline, for sure. That was so fun. Favourite album right now? Favourite album right now? Um, I've been listening to Talk Talk a lot again. Uh, there's a band called Talk Talk. Album called Spirit of Eden. Check it out, people. I've lived in Liverpool for four years. So sad to see first Casimir go and now Park Street Studios. Park Street's not going though, is it? I thought that that was... Um, is that going to happen? Surely not. Surely not. I fucking know not. What was Sean Mendes like? I only met him for like two seconds. I didn't actually know who he was at that time. Do you like Harry Styles' music? Yes. I'd love to write with Harry Styles as well. Ah, oh, tune before dinner? No. I'm too tired and hungry. Are you a Catabur fan? Catfish? Uh, yes. Sure. Yeah, it's being turned into flats. Really? Fuck's sake. I thought that that was um, still up for sort of debate. Um, right, I'm sorry. I'm so tired. I'm not very good at this anymore. So, thanks for tuning in. Um, appreciate all the feedback on the EP. It's very nice to hear people say nice things. So, please keep listening. Keep sharing. And um, I hope you're all well. It's, me it's, it's mental health week, isn't it? So, I hope you're all... <laughs>